Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 15 degree Black Friday. It is November the 29th of 2019, and it is crispy frozen out here. Man, it's insanely cold. All the birds in that tree. All right, off we go on a nice cold Friday. And look how bright it's gotten in just a few minutes since I said the initial hello. Oh, this take the truck out. Sparky, the bone collector. Bone toys, you name it, he collects it. <laughs> All right, mama. Early day at Pro Caliber. Yes. All right, let's bust her out. All right, babe. This is when it starts to get spooky. When you see the fog coming down. That makes for some very froze up roads. Or it can, anyway. It's cool looking, though. Man, that's always a cool look right there. The fireplace is burning. The old country house. <laughs> This is one of those side stand recalls. It's a little template. You gotta drill some holes in your then a reinforcement bracket is installed on it. There was a select few of these things that the side stand could be weak. You don't need that. So it gets a new side stand, new mounting hardware. The old 310R. Surprised there's still any of these things left out. We had very, very few of them that, that needed the bulletin done. It was just a select VIN range. This is one of them. I don't know if this even came from us. I would imagine it did, but don't know. I think we got, I thought we got all of ours done. The few that we had. Pretty good sign of how cold it is when ice freezes that thick. Solid and it lays there in the sun with no signs of even attempting to melt. <laughs> Starting to warm up a little bit out here. Still ice everywhere. Beer P truck dropped off some Rikers and uh, said he was in Idaho and had like two feet of snow on the ground. Maybe I can uh, find something to take a quick ride on. That'd be great. Or maybe we could take <laughs> a brand new 2020 Indian Challenger limited I've been avoiding these things since day one I've only watched the um, Indian propaganda because it has the uh, it's running on a TV in the in the showroom but I've seen tons of reviews uh, posted and I haven't watched the one I want to roll out of here not knowing anything about it I know it has crash bars and all the safety stuff on it. That's about all I know. So after I uh, do some reviews here, or a review, I'm not gonna do, this is not no comprehensive thing. It's just a quick ride. This is not a demo. So I can't just go willy nilly putting miles on it. But um, we're gonna take it for a little rip and see what my first impressions are. Anyway, let's go take this thing for a quick rip. I get my helmet and camera and stuff on that one and uh i gotta put some gas in it right quick and we'll go from there i'm not even paying attention where the camera's pointing i'm just looking at that fine looking motorcycle it's funny the people that reference the road king i just don't see that at all i see a fixed fairing on an indian is what i see but you know everybody's got their their own opinion me it's just a motorcycle a cool motorcycle i would say we would uh be together and hearing this thing run for the first time but i had to get it downstairs so i fired it up that blue's pretty that's like really good looking all right first thing we gotta do like most of my test rides here lately I gotta go <laughs> gotta put some gas in the dead gum thing She's plumb dumb empty. Power switch is over here. Kind of typical 
Indian. It'll be somewhere up there. After I get some gas in this thing, we'll um, then we'll we'll take off and do do a real ride. I don't know if it's because it's brand new or it was super low on gas. Oh, I got a 40-something mile range. Yeah, let's put some gas in it anyway. He didn't even have like a half a gallon down there. And it's in a sport mode right out of the gate here. Woo! That brake lever is way up there forward. But my, uh, my soft tail slim is, is shockingly forward. Which is uh, kind of weird because I, uh, I like to ride with my feet at the back of the floorboard. Sound reminds me of, of something. It's almost like a VTX kind of sound it has. How do I keep... I can't get the radio to stay off. It keeps coming on. Every time I cycle the key, it comes back on. And uh, for obvious reasons, we can't have radio playing in this thing. Oh, neutral. Oh, there you are. All right. Mm, I love that new smell. This is how you open the gas cap. This little button. This is your your bag locks. I don't know if you can see that. The sun's probably in your face. But right in the center. And you hear this little boom. That unlocks the fuel cap. All right, I'll be right back. No heel toe shifter, which has been the norm on Indians. You have to add that if for some unforsaken reason you want it on there. Wow. That's a very neutral handling feeling, which is like noticeable as soon as you're like rolling out of the parking lot. feels whoa whoa there jeep whoa there jeep <laughs> whoa yeah, she's spunky holy moly it's cold out here that's a that's a good cool feeling to it when you're riding it I don't know if there's any ice on it back here. I, I don't want to be testing out the traction control on it. This right here is usually the spot you get it. It just simply looks uh, looks dry. That's cool. It just rolls down to almost wanting to stop. <laughs> yeah. She's got some spunk. Yeah. Heck yeah. Dag gum. <laughs> I don't know which way I want to go. I want to. I want it to count. Yeah, she's got, she's got gaboodles of torque. This gal's a runner. Heck yeah. <laughs> go Indian, go. The engine has a unique sound to it, that's for sure. Wow, that, that is downright impressive. Those are just short little bursts. It has a feeling like you could really rail on this thing. Yeah, buddy. And the blue. That's cool. <laughs> oh, got a green microfiber lint thing on there.
I'm telling you right now, I want to ride one of these things when they're broke in. That thing has some gumption. Just these little bursts of hello mama. God almighty. That's really nice. Kind of reminds me of my street glide. It's got that very flickable feeling to it. Like you can just do some stuff you shouldn't do on a on a big bike, you know? On the old bagger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy, this thing is impressive. <laughs> the brakes aren't scrubbed in yet either. Seated in. You want to be kind to them at first. I am super impressed. Just makes you want to go out and spend a lot of time on it. Man, it's just nothing like the the chieftains or anything. It's just so like refined feeling, you know? Not that those weren't, it's just like next level. Thing pulls so good. Man, that feels good. That's nice. That is so nice. I have to go back. Can I stay? <laughs> Got you right in the sun. Always end up with you in the sun, don't I? Super impressive, I gotta say. It just has a really cool feel to it when you ride it. I like that everything's up, you know, within reach on the dash, too, with the fixed fairing. Come on, people. Let's, let's go and get it happening here. There's my little gas station I stopped at for a few hours. All I can think of is I just want to go. I just want to go and spend some time on this thing. I don't trust the tires yet because they're so new. But I feel like I could just rail this thing. This is beyond freaking cool. Well, there we are. And give you just a quick little walk around once we come to to a stop here and you know typical indian to locking bags and whatnot everything locks down adjustable shield i didn't play with that see the cool brimbos up front i think that motor is sexy as heck the photos and stuff i've seen of it just look like it was going to be gaudy but it's not at all there's the headrest lit and those cool LED lights. She's a beauty. Man, oh man, yeah. All right, thanks for uh, coming along for my, my very first taste of a Challenger. Maybe we can do a uh, more extensive review on it at some point. Get one that's uh, a demo unit. Get it broke in and let's go out and really play with it. Initially, Super, super impressed. Wow, 
I'll be thinking about this thing now. That gummit Indian. Dang you people. It's the end of the day on Friday. We left just a scotch, scotch early. Yeah. There's still daylight out here at the moment. In fact, there's even still sun in the sky. So let's start our weekend there, little mama. Sounds good there. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Dogs flying around everywhere out there. Yeah. Keep catching my eye because it's not completely dark. I can see them running. Yeah. <laughs> Just barely. I mean, there's still twilight out there because it's not a cloud in the sky. But boy, does that make for. Ooh, that was cold this morning. Holy moly. Yeah. But heck, it warmed up. I think it probably got close to 50 today or might have got 250. I don't know. Down in Vancouver. Felt pretty good. That was really fun riding that. That Challenger, I wasn't even thinking about the cold. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. The, uh, it's, I, I, I don't, you know, I like I said at one point, I don't get the, I mean, I, the fixed fairing, but, you know, the eluders of fixed fairing, the F6Bs of fixed fairing, fixed, fixed fairings have been on motorcycles long before Harley was doing it. I don't, yeah. I think it's just an American made motorcycle and, there's no doubt that Indians goal was to get into that the overpowering dominance that Harley has over over that American V twin fixed fairing thing but uh yeah the motor company has nothing to worry about there's no you know, they may Harley may lose some sales to the Indian that'll be the kind of new spec buyer kind of guy but it's a uh, Really cool. I would love to have one. Really cool bike. But it's not, it's no, I don't see it being any threat whatsoever to the Harley Road King. The Road King's just going to keep on going on. That The guy that's going to buy the Road King would not go back and forth between those two. No. Indian went uh, 180 degrees the other direction. They made a performance bagger. And it's really cool. Those things are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. What I just, I just, I think I, what I'm trying to say is I have the hardest time trying to see a relationship between them two motorcycles. Yeah. I know that was Indian's goal to get into that, you know, that class of bike you know, and, try, and try to steal some Harley sales, and of course they will, but the motor company's not losing any sleep over that thing whatsoever. No. But cool, beyond belief cool. That was a lot of fun to ride. Man, it feels like it's got way more torque than the numbers say. I wish I wouldn't even have known the numbers, but you walk past that Indian TV that runs 24-7 out front, you just the thing pops up. You can't miss it. Of course, when it came out, I want to see pictures and the splash page on Indian's website, whether it still does or not, was you know, 122 horsepower, 128 foot-pounds of torque. So it would have been cool if I could have avoided even knowing that. But yeah, I was super impressed. Impressive, impressive motorcycle. It has a cool feel to it. it. Just, it just feels right when you're going down the road. I like a bike that you know you have that feeling. If that makes any sense to you. But uh, yeah, really cool bike. Glad I got to ride it. Really can't wait to if one ever gets to a demo status and get it broke in and go out and just have some fun with it. I just wanted to just spend some time on it. I, I felt like I need way more of this kind of a feeling, you know? Yeah. But anyway, appreciate you guys coming along for the Challenger ride. Now I can good. sit and binge watch videos on it. <laughs> I was trying to, I didn't want anybody's opinion to to sway me in any way. Yeah. But I still didn't feel, I felt like there's so much more to it than what I gathered in that short little ride. I knew I had to keep the, the miles down, so it was hard to um, concentrate on making it a short ride and then trying to get all the nuances of the bike at the same time. But it was really fun anyway. Very cool. So on that, to talk motorcycles all day, we're going to bounce. Alrighty. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. Bye.
All right. Hopefully, I know it's supposed to be nice, but whether it uh, ever gets warm enough that it'll be comfortable to ride a motorcycle will be the uh, next thing. I don't know about or that not. one. <laughs> we'll see. All right. See you in the morning. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching now. Yes. Bye-bye.